What's up, YouTube family? It's your man, Man 47 coming at you with another video. Hey, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell also to make sure that you get notification every time I put out new content. All right, also, don't forget to drop some lines in that comment section. I love hearing from you guys. So drop some lines after the video. Tell me what you think. All right, y'all, I have a very special guest with me today. I brought moms to the range. She flew in to see your boy and visit. So we had to make a trip to the range today. She is a gun owner uh, at this time, but she wants to take a look at some of the other guns that I have and shoot a few just to see if she likes something better and maybe upgrade. So we're gonna take a look at her shooting some guns at the range. All right, y'all, let's get it. All right, y'all, so the four guns that she's gonna shoot uh, are right here on the table. And the first one is the Car CW9, which is what she already owns. And then she's gonna shoot the Canon TP9 Elite SC. And then she's gonna also shoot the Taurus G3C. And finally, the uh, Sig Sauer P365. All right, so let's let her shoot them and then we'll get some feedback at the end. All right, y'all, so one of the things that uh, Moms is gonna do first is she's gonna rack the slide. When buying a gun, especially for ladies, we need to make sure that they're able to rack that slide um, when they take it to the range or whatever. So she's gonna rack that slide first. So go ahead, Moms, go ahead and rack the slide. All right, so we got the Canon TP9SC. She's gonna shoot that one. Let's rack it first and then see how it feels, all right? All right, we got the Taurus G3C. We're gonna go ahead and rock them. All right, SIG P365, go ahead and rock it. four different guns including the one that you already own so you started out with the car cw9 um, the one that you already own i know there's probably some bias towards this one since you already own it um what did you think about this one tell me about racking it how hard or how difficult was it to rack and then tell me how it felt shooting the racking was pretty easy on that one and it fits my hand good and shooting it the recoil was good so i do like that one all right so i know one of the things that we talk about because i know a lot of times um when we look at guns and we go look at guns and uh, to purchase we talk about how it feels in your hand and how easy it is to rack so that's why we had moms do those couple of things and really focus on those couple of things while she was here at the range the second gun is one of my favorites one of my newer pistols is the canic tp9 elite sc how did this one feel to you in terms of um, how did it feel in your hand and then how easy or how hard was it to rack? That one was easy to rack also and it fits really good in my hand. For the recoil, it's a little more than the car, uh, even though I do like this one. All right, okay, cool. So moving on to the Taurus G3C. Um, how did this one feel in the hand? How was it to, work, to rack? That one was a little more difficult to rack. It fits the hand well, but when you're shooting, um, the recoil was a little more than the previous 
those two. So you think the recoil on this gun was heavier than the Canik and the car? Yes. All right. All right, so the final pistol was I found most interesting uh, you shooting this pistol is the uh, 6R P365. And uh, tell me, before I give you my comments on it, tell me what you thought about the P365. That one, um, I wasn't able to rack that. Um, and it fits the hand well. Mm -hmm. And the shooting, um, the recoil is a lot. Is it pretty heavy? It's a lot for me. Okay, so it was pretty heavy on the yeah. recoil. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm asking is because I know a lot of times, especially women, female uh, shooters or new shooters see smaller guns and they automatically want a smaller gun just because it's cuter or they can, you know, you know, conceal it better, which is good if you're talking about concealment. Um, but you got to keep in mind when you're buying these small guns for women or small stature people, people that the gun actually is going to show more recoil. You're going to feel more recoil on the smaller gun because you're not, that recoil is going to be transferred to your hand instead of being absorbed by the gun itself. So, you know, just as an um, example, she struggled shooting this one a little bit because of the recoil. The, um, the recoil spring in this is pretty tight, so racking it was an issue for you. You had a hard time racking it, wasn't able to rack it. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind, ladies, when you're out there looking for a pistol that's small or micro doesn't always equal easier to shoot. Would you agree? Definitely. All right. All right. So before we end this session, I got a question for you. Which of these four are you going to go with? Uh, after shooting all four of them together at the same time in the range on the same day, are you going to stay with the car CW9 or are you going to pick up one of these other three? I'm going to stay with the car CW9 because of the recoil, the way I can rack it, and the grip on it. Okay, so all around you just felt like this was, is a good gun yes. for you. The nice thing about this gun is it is a quality gun. Cars do make quality guns. The only downfall to this gun, in my opinion, is the capacity. Um, seven rounds, so it's a seven plus one. Um, other than that, um, it's, a, it's an excellent firearm, so I think you can't go wrong. So if you decide to stay with that, which I guess you already said that, um, I think that's a good choice for you. You have to be comfortable with whatever it is that you, you own, all right? So that's it, folks. That's Moms at the Range. Um, I appreciate you guys riding with us on this one. Hey, when you get a chance, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Give me a, a thumbs up, like this video, and also leave some comments in the comment section. All right, y'all? Um, like I always say, if you ain't packing, you're slacking. I'll see you when I see you.